What is going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. Today we are back at Insurance Auto Auctions here in Oklahoma City for another walk around. Let's jump into this video today and see what we find. Let's start out with the thumbnail ladies and gentlemen because that's why you clicked the video. This is a 1988 Saab 900 Turbo. You just don't see these anymore. It's listed as stationary. Obviously it's been parked a long time. It does not run and drive it is a charity donation which is really cool and it's an oklahoma car which means you shouldn't have to worry too much about rust now in my opinion it's pretty ugly um i'm sorry I'm just, it's uh <laughs> it's yeah you know maybe there's something that could be done to make it look better i, I don't know maybe with the paint cleaned up and and, and fresh window tint and I, I I just I don't know man I don't these tail lights are literally disintegrating there's trees growing on the bumper I I, I mean <laughs> she's rough she's real rough however it's got some good points the body is in good shape it's got tires that look practically brand new um interior surprisingly nice really okay maybe ooh you know that's a that's an interesting smell i'm assuming these are manual seats or look how squishy how do you how do i even what is this oh the old school belts that go oh wow 184,000 miles on the odometer i'm thinking right now power tour 2025 um oh wow okay so i don't know how to work the seats Oh, that's all the way back. What does this say? Do not drive. Place this in your stored in your stored vehicles. Remind not to drive before removing the storage doors. Do not drive vehicles. Limited coverage while in storage. Okay. Well, you got a tag from 2016. That's uh, that's a long time ago. And then you got the keys, which are great, except you can't get to. Yeah. So that's a problem. You have the books. It's a nice touch. Honestly, aside from the headliner falling down and, you know, look at the old Pioneer tape deck, man. How cool is that? 40 watts times four. It's a KEH P2800. Um, boy, this is, this is something. Um, can we pop the hood? Hopefully we don't get hornets and wasps coming after us just to make sure it popped wow this this is this is something this is something okay i don't remember if the hood opens backwards on these i think it does i could be wrong no i guess it opened Ooh. um help spider webs all over the front oh look at that look at that wasp nest oh wow okay well, I hope they've moved along by now. I'm nervous to open this. Oh, no, it does open backwards. I don't see any bees or wasps coming out after us. <sighs> Yet. Oh, come on. <sighs> oh, there's another wasp nest. <sighs> there we go. Whoa, whoa, Jesus. That scared me. It's just a long piece of metal. Okay, so this thing has been parked an insanely long time. There's nothing but spider webs everywhere under here. Uh, turbo intercooler. So it is an intercooled engine. That's interesting. Mud dauber nest there and there. Uh, wow, I, I don't even know, guys. This has motor oil. So I guess it wouldn't hurt to check. It's full and it's it's clean. I'll tell you what's not clean. The gasoline in this. Gross. Yeah, she's a little bit dirty, guys. Um, fuel injection. All your belts are over here. That's bizarre. Your air compressor. Everything is on the back of the engine. Really? What? Listen. Guys, forgive me. I don't know anything about what I'm looking at today. I, I, I don't understand any of this. 
uh, not my thing, man. With that said, I don't know. It's different. It's unique. Kind of interesting. Uh, maybe we could take a crack at it. Look at this manifold. What the hell is going on here? What? What is this? I, I, this is... I am so lost. <laughs> Not even gonna lie. I am so lost. Uh, if there's a battery... Uh, oh, there it is. It's down there. The battery's from 2012. What do you... Do you think we should try to... I mean, at least see if it cranks over? I mean, obviously, the fuel system's gonna be dead on this. There's no chance that it's gonna start. I promise you, the fuel pump is completely shot. Let's, let's take a... Let's take a moment to do the sniff test, shall we? It's gonna be bad. That's bizarre. I don't... I don't smell anything. It doesn't even... It doesn't smell like rotten gas. It doesn't smell like fresh gas. It doesn't... It didn't hiss when I opened it? Man, it just doesn't smell like anything. Huh. Okay, I'm a little intrigued. It wouldn't be right if we didn't hook up a jump pack and try to start it. So give me a minute. Let's see if we can get this thing to at least crank over. So the first thing I do whenever I hook power to a car that's been sitting for a million years is I just kind of watch it for a minute. I stand out here, I look around and I make certain that I don't see any smoke. I don't smell anything. Last thing I want to do is catch something on fire. When things have been sitting for a long time, you just, you don't know, man. You just don't know. So I don't see or smell anything that's concerning. Let's move on to the interior. Make sure we don't smell anything in here. It's got such a unique smell. I, 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 it's, I probably don't want to know what it is, but look at that. Clarion, Saab Clarion, wow. This thing is so cool, guys. Give me a minute, let's put the key in and see if it'll do anything at all. Okay, don't tell anybody, but I, uh, I took the key off the keychain thing. It does nothing, nothing. Can we, uh... it goes out of park goes into all the gears but I mean she doesn't even gas gauge also shows nothing which is interesting almost like someone had drained the tank if they did the fuel system may be salvageable maybe uh, I don't know maybe important window sort of works less important window works do we have any yeah, there's a lot of stuff not working. The blower works. Okay, I mean, air conditioning, this is, what is this, mirrors? All right, I mean, it, it makes no attempt to start at all, like none, not at all. So we tried. I don't know guys, is this something we need on the channel or should we leave it sitting where it is? Where do you even get parts for something like this? You know what I mean? Like who has, who has parts in stock for a 1988 Saab 900 turbo? I, I don't know. I really have no idea where we would get any components that we would need to fix this car. Absolutely none at all. So. I may consider throwing a bit on it right now. The auction's tomorrow. It's sitting at zero dollars. Like absolutely, absolutely nothing. Nobody's even bidding on it. And that kind of makes me sad. It's a weird, quirky little, little unit, man. Uh, there's some about it though. I, I can't even explain it, but there's some about the little car just like. So guys comment below, should we? Or shouldn't we? We're gonna move it on down the line. I've got it on my watch list and I'm I'm gonna give it some serious consideration. That's that's all I'm gonna say. I got a feeling that's gonna be one of those cars. It's gonna turn out to be a disaster. It's gonna be a complete money pit. Oh my goodness. What is this? What is this little thing? I mean obviously Nissan, is that a leaf? 
I think it is a Nissan Leaf. Nissan Versa. I'm sorry. Ah, well, there's something for Nick, right? Surely he could drive that. Teeny tiny. No. I tend to avoid Nissans mainly because of their CVT transmissions. Honest to God, that's just the truth of it. But there is a Nissan up here that is not CVT that I think is actually a pretty decent little car, guys. You guys tell me what you think, but how about a little Nissan Sentra Special Edition? Guys, remember these? 1.8 liter, itty bitty, small car, has no options, automatic, just perfect. It's a pedal car too. That's got hail damage, dents in the front. Boy, this thing is, from a distance, you actually look pretty good. It's like I had my beer goggles on or something when I saw it. It actually, it did, it, 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 it oh wow. Yeah, it's, it's even got rust, door handles missing. That's okay. Wow, it even has, uh, no, that's not leather. That is so much oil, grease, and dirt that it actually turned the seat from cloth into a leather-esque material. I really thought that was leather because of how shiny it was. No, no, no. That's actually that cloth seat, except filthy. Extremely nasty. N no, no, no way. Man, what a shame. Come on. There we go. And then down in the uh, dog leg area here, you got significant rust. It's actually rotting through. Tires are dry rotted. It's another one sat a long time. This is nah. I do love a Nissan Center though. I do. I love these old. Nissan Sentries. You don't find them very often. And uh, if you do, most of the time they're going to end up looking like this one. So scratch that. We'll just continue on. I promise you, they got more good stuff out here. Just got to walk through a lot of BS to find it, you know. Makes it worth it. When you find the one, you know what I mean? When you find that one car, it makes all the junk that you walked through, all the stuff you took the time out of your life to spend time with, you find that one good one and it all became worth it. You guys know what I'm talking about? I'm not talking about cars anymore in case you didn't catch my drift there, guys. We're not talking about cars. Now I'm talking about women, okay? It's, <laughs> you go through all the BS, all the time and money and you feel like it was all wasted. Well, you just gotta keep looking through the roughage, guys, to find the diamond because I promise you, just like with these cars, there are several diamonds in the rough out there. You just got to take the time to go out and look for it and find it. With that said, this is not a life advice channel. Let's continue talking about cars. I see an Explorer over here that I really like. How much you want to bet to charity? How much you want to bet? I'll bet you money. No, it's not. Dang it. If it was a charity, I'd be more interested in it. It's a remarketing service. Those I'm a little sketchy about. Not to say that there aren't good ones out there, but Advanced Track RSC, Eddie Bauer, of course. That's why you got that beautiful two-tone. You got the running boards. You got the chrome rims. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll take a quick look at it. I got nothing against, you know, remarketing companies or whatever. They, they, they do what they do. It's, it's good for them good for their customers but at the same time it just leaves me a little leery I would much rather oh wow yeah I would much rather buy from a uh, charity I feel so much better more confident honestly when I buy from a charity because I feel like I feel like when you're dealing with a charity what you're getting is a lot more honest if that makes sense it's a more honest vehicle than when you're dealing with a remarketing firm. Uh, you just don't know. This one, I mean, the seats are completely destroyed. The window tint is completely dead and bad. Uh, tags are expired. You got wires just hanging out from under here. Going to what? I, I don't know exactly. Uh, somebody tried breaking into it about 50, 11 times. Um, it's all cut up from coat hangers and stuff in there. So in this case, even though I think on the outside, it looks pretty good. You got crow's feet all over the hood. The paint is flaking, coming apart. Yeah, we're gonna skip it. We're gonna skip it. We're gonna move on. Because truthfully, I'm not that interested in it anyway. If it had been a charity though, I probably gave it a chance. I don't know, but it's it's not. So we're not. We're just gonna continue on a Maxima. Nope. Keep going. We're gonna keep pushing because somewhere out here, somewhere amongst all of this stuff, we're gonna find 
something decent. I just know it. We always do. We always do. It may only be one. <laughs> we may only get lucky enough to find one. And truthfully, that sob may have been the one, guys. I pray to God that it's not. I really don't. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to. Um, but the sob may have been the one. We'll see how the video views do. I will be keeping a close eye on the comments uh, to see what you guys have to say about it as well. All right. We're not. We're just striking out left and right today, man. This is the stuff I hate. I, I hate when you walk through so many and there's just nothing. Like, not even one thing that, I, that I'm like, hey, man, that sticks out like a sore thumb. I'd love to get my hands on that. Nothing at all. Grand Marquis, that thing's been here for longer than I want to say. A Kia Sorento van, Mitsubishi Lancer. I mean, these are cool, but this one's beat to hell, man. You can tell, oh, not, a, oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So, wrecked and tons of hail damage. Skip that one. This is may not be our day, guys. Mitsubishi Eclipse is still here. <laughs> not really surprised about that one either. We got a CNG Honda Civic. Have we looked at the Honda Civic? CNG before? Have we seen this one? I don't think so. Hold up. Well, I can see Nick going to the gas pump trying to fill up with natural gas. Uh, I don't know about that, guys. It's a pedal car, too. And when it comes to run and drive, it doesn't say anything. <laughs> That's not good. Uh, runs and drives or starts? Nothing. Generally speaking, that means it does not run. Uh, ooh. Oh, mm. okay. Quick no, that's, a, that's an easy. Almost, almost, I almost checked that one out, guys. No, I'm being picky now because, I mean, it is 100 degrees and uh, if a car stinks and then you add 100 degrees outside to it, you end up with like 120, 130 degrees inside the car and the stink becomes... It morphs into some other thing that you can literally taste. You know what I mean? It, 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 it's, 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 it's very unpleasant. Uh, and I've been out here for hours already. I'm already covered in sweat. And uh, I'm not trying to... Oh, man. No, it's wrecked. Okay. I'm just, I'm just not trying... Ooh, wasps. Here we go again. Here we go. See, that's what it is, guys. That's what it is. They have... Yeah, he's making a home in this uh, Buick over here. Yeah, basically what I'm trying to say is I'm already hot. I'm burning up out here. And I am not going to uh, step into a car that smells like straight up, uh, well, you, you know. You know what I'm saying. What do we got in this one? The ignition looks like somebody may have taken it apart. Maxima, what is this? Yeah, Maxima. I actually really like, I like this generation of Maxima. I'm very nervous over here though, guys. Number one, this car is all kinds of trashed inside and out. Number two is those wasps are all over. I'm not doing it. Dang it. I actually really like these Maximas, man. Pedal car says it doesn't run. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to do it. I'm not risking getting stung by a bunch of wasps out here to look at a car. It's getting bad, guys. That's what I'm trying to say. It is, it is getting rough out here, man. So, uh, continuing on our way, I suppose. CTS? Yeah. Nah. Nah. Pass on that. We've already seen the Charger. This is the one that was in the Tornado. Uh, pretty badly damaged. Definitely going to take more work than it's worth to put back together. Ooh, hello. Wow. Progressive casualty. Okay, so see, I, I, I see it. I like it. I want it. That means it's going to be completely crunched, smashed, destroyed somewhere. Where is it? Here we go. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, wouldn't call it completely destroyed, but yeah, it's going to need significant work. Obviously, the rear end is trashed on both sides. Damage to the door, damage to the, oh, damage to the mirror, damage to the door, damage to the running board. The quarter panel may be all right, may just need this. Rear bumper, gonna need to be replaced. It's ripped apart. And then obviously this wheel is sitting all kinds of cockeyed as well. So the whole back end is trashed on this. Windshield is busted. 
Oh, she's a little rough. Woo! Oh, wow. I didn't expect that from Alexis. Wow. <laughs> That's another potent one, guys. Man, she looks good, though. She looks good. I'm not, not messing with that one either, guys. All right. It's time to switch rows. We got an RX-8 over here. We've already looked at it. It does not run. Sounds like it's got absolutely zero compression. However, there is another RX-8 that popped up out here. Oh, Jesus. Another one? Come on, man. These things have gone wild out here. I, the amount of wasps and hornets that are out here is it's crazy. That's, and I'm telling you, that's what happened. They brought that one car, that HHR or whatever it was out here, and now these things are making homes all over all of these cars. You're never gonna get rid of them now. You'll never get rid of them. Anyway, somewhere up here, it's a, it's a bit of a ways, is another RX-8. I actually really like the RX-8. For you guys that don't know, that's a totally hail damage one, Mitsubishi. We're not gonna mess with that either. Uh, I'll bet that dang thing is still out here somewhere. I bet it is. And that's why. It's probably still sitting here, and they're just flying around, making nests all over. So, <laughs> listen, if you come out here to this Oklahoma yard, it's a fair warning. Watch yourself, man. Watch yourself, because uh, they these things are out here, and they look like they mean business. They ain't messing around. I like that, uh, what is that, an excursion? and an, uh, Not an excursion, it's not an explorer, is it? Is that an explorer, police car? I kind of like it, it's smashed in the back though. Woodward Police. I think it's just an explorer. Newer one, but 17 Explorer, yeah. Uh, we're not even over there. Stick to the plan. I got a way of doing things, guys. I, I do one row at a time and I try my best not to deviate. It's easy to get sidetracked out here. And you'll get yourself all mixed up and especially with the heat, you'll forget exactly what you were doing. So let's stick to this side of the row. There's that Cavalier that's full of meat again. Um, Acura TL, we've looked at that. I've had several of you asked me to buy that one. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really want it. A pedal car, great. 2008 Volkswagen Jetta. Is it a runner? Doesn't say. Is it manual transmission? Nope, automatic. It's got some awful rims. Uh, no, nope. See how easy that was? And it's got a, uh, an abandoned sticker on it from being parked for so long. So scratch that. I'm still looking to see if I can find that uh, HHR. I got a feeling it's still sitting out here and that's where all this come from. All right, guys, we are quickly reaching the end of this row. And there's only one thing that I saw over here that I know for sure I'm interested in, and that is the RX-8. The LS400 Lexus. I've had a lot of you asking about that. Looking back, I wish I'd bought it. I do. I did not realize you guys would be that into an old, really old, torn up Lexus. Uh, I will tell you this though, the last time I saw the bids, which is why I did not bid on it, it was over $1,500 for that old car. And I could not bring myself to do it. I, I'm sorry, I, I thought there's no way there's gonna be enough interest in this car to justify spending $1,500 on it. Uh, and I'm gonna probably end up losing a ton of money. So I did not get it. Sorry, my bad. I'll remember that next time though. Although when's the next time you're gonna find a running and driving old school LS400? Yeah, exactly. So I don't see I don't think they're here anymore, guys. They're not. The uh, The Hornet car appears to be gone. Somebody bought it. So the rest of these are just what's left over. Man, I almost feel bad for whoever had to tow that. Can you imagine? The guy that had to tow that thing, hauling it to its new home full of Hornets. Oh, man. That's, that's, <laughs> you're going to have to pay me extra. You know what I mean? <laughs> you're going to have to pay me extra. Um, okay. So we're about at the end. Dang it, where is my, where's my RX-8? I saw it when I walked in here, that was hours ago though. That was hours ago. I doubt it's gone anywhere though, right? Surely it's not, 
Oh, what is this, a little A4? A pedal. Dang it. Don't do it, Randy. Don't, 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 don't. It's cute though, isn't it? It's got nice tires all the way around, nice color. Man, I did one of these on the channel before, just one, and it was very nice as well. The problem with it was, as I found out, and I'd be willing to bet it's probably wrong with this one too, is uh, these cabriolets, they leak, right? water ends up going down into the floorboard. And this looks like a floor to you probably, I imagine. It looks like a floor, right? It's not, it's not a floor. If you take up all that cushion or all of that uh, floor mats and stuff and you start pulling the carpet back, there's like styrofoam underneath it. All the computer modules, I think the body control module literally, literally sits under there. It gets completely flooded with water. All the wires get corroded and you burn up the module. The car won't do anything like, does, does nothing, nothing at all. And I would be willing to bet that is probably exactly what happened to this one. Oh. Dead? Well, of course. Of course she's dead. It doesn't say if it's a run and drive either. I'm willing to give this one a chance. Just because it is so clean. Such a clean little car. We'll, we'll see what it does. I'd be curious to see what the miles are on it too. Oh. Uh-oh. Well, that's not good. I guess we won't be giving it a chance after all, will we? Well, you live, you learn. So somebody's got to take it apart. Timing belt. Looks like it's still intact. Everything is rusted under there. Tons of oil. Coils are just sitting there. All the wires, wiring harness and everything is just sitting over here. So obviously somebody had started dismantling this. Something was very wrong with it. Okay. I mean, I could plug it all back in, hook up a battery and see what it does, but... Do I really want to? No, no, I don't. What I do though want is, I wanna find that RX-8 because that is one of the only cars out of all the hours I've been here, that is one of the only ones I'm genuinely interested in. I love an RX-8. I know, I know, but there's a Honda CRV, Randy. Wonderful, there it is, okay? Here's a Honda CRV. It's, Got hail damage, not significant though. Pedal car, 1999. I'll show it to you real quick because some of you guys out there think that I just hate Honda. The miles, uh, 226, 878. She's actually really clean. Actually, actually, I don't want to like this car, but I'm, I'm starting to. Looks like the airbags may have blown or something. They put tape over them. You've got, what are those, Koenig wheels? The interior is phenomenally nice on this, man. Good tires, coated wheels. Okay, all right, listen. If this thing has the wheel lock in it, we're gonna look at it. If, it, if it's got the wheel lock, I'll give it a chance. Son of a gun, it does, doesn't it? Wait, no, 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 it doesn't. Good, because I didn't want to look at it. Wait, yes, it does. No, it doesn't. All right, I don't know what I'm talking about. Cup holders, ashtray with nothing in it. I don't see the wheel lock. Should we look at it anyway? <sighs> Dang it. I, I, I don't need this in my life, seriously. <sighs> there is minor hail damage. Honestly, there's my RX-8 right there. Wow, this is clean. <sighs> We're gonna look at it, guys. We are. We're gonna look at it because this is actually really nice. Looks like somebody recently put a new distributor. That whole distributor assembly is brand new. Plug wires look new. Somebody probably did the plugs as well. Timing belt, well, that's anybody's guess now, isn't it? Let's check. Check the oil. It's clean and it's full. Uh, I did not come out here to look. Uh, it's got pressure on the cooling system. It's warm, somebody's had it running. So she runs, she absolutely runs. Let's throw a jump on this, guys. Let's see what it does. All right, my only question is, what's the trans dipstick look like? Where is, there's a wire, looks like it's cut. That's an earplug. I think that used to be the transmission dipstick. Someone, <laughs> someone put an earplug in it. Uh, okay. Um. 
yeah i do believe that is the where the trans dipstick would go that's that's different so she's a little rough i'm just thinking what a good old honda you know old school honda i love these Uh-oh. There we go. She runs. Not very well. Air conditioning? We'll find out shortly. What about windows? Where's all the... Okay, window switches. Important window works? Less important window works. We have a flashing check engine light, meaning it's misfiring. Overdrive seems to turn on and off like it's supposed to. Gears, reverse. Backwards, yes. Forwards, yes. Let's see if it clears up when you give it a little throttle. AC is ice cold, by the way. So it seems like at higher RPMs, it goes away. Could be a faulty spark plug. It's smooth as silk. But at 15, 1800 RPM, steady misfiring. You get up to about, where does it come on? Where does it cut out? About two grand. Right around 2000 RPM, it gets better. So, here's what I'm thinking. By the way, the AC, did I mention it? It's ice cold. Seriously. Um, obviously, need to run the diagnostic. SRS light is on, so airbags have blown. Both of them have been popped, which means it was in some kind of a front-end collision at some point. Real-time four-wheel drive. How do you open? Uh, I guess you don't. That's fine. Let's try to unlock it. See if that makes any difference. Oh, the... I'm not sure the locks even work. I mean, it's got great tires, but it is misfiring. That may be broken. Misfiring like crazy. So first thing you want to do is run a diagnostic. Find out what cylinder is causing you the problems. Obviously, somebody went to a lot of trouble to get it sorted out, and apparently they couldn't figure it out. So if you've replaced your plugs, wires, distributor cap, rotor bug, hell, even the distributor, you're getting down to a point where it could be a fuel injector, if you're lucky. If it's not a fuel injector, well, I don't know. Maybe the timing belt had broke and you crunched a valve. Could be. Could be a head gasket. Absolutely could be. To be honest with you, I'm not really interested in it. So, could be a decent project for somebody. But the fact of the matter is, what I want to look at is sitting right over there. Well, I thought I wanted to look at it. This thing is rough. She's, she's real rough. Says it's a run and drive though. 2006 Mazda RX-8 with 111,000 miles on it. That is perfect timing for the apex seals to go out on you. Condensation in the lights, perfectly normal, especially when there's a giant crack down it. Hail dan- oh, are you serious, man? <sighs> Listen, I saw this car, you guys may remember. We looked at this Saab over here, right? The Saab 900 Turbo. I don't know if you guys know how I do videos. Basically, I come out here and I spend a day here, man. I mean, I spend hours and hours walking around out here in the heat trying to find cars, and I make a whole series of videos in one shot. I saw this from way back there, and I thought, I saw it, and I was like, oh, man, I want to go look at it, but I didn't. Like I said, I got, uh, I got a way of doing things, and I don't mess it up, generally speaking. I go one aisle at a time, one row at a time, so I saw this and I was like, man, I can't wait till we get to the video where I get to look over this car. And of course, it's completely crunched. Of course, yeah, completely. On top of that, it's an automatic, which makes it even less desirable. Great, perfect. So uh, I, this is, <laughs> it's like, this is the end of my video. This is the last car of my day. I'm ready to go home. You know what I mean? It's 3.30. I'm ready to get out of here, and I've been so excited to end my day getting to this car, only to find out the side is crunched. And this is this is my lifetime of luck summed up right here, guys. 
every time I find something, it's like, oh man, I want that, I gotta have that. As soon as I get to it, you guys see it in these videos all the time. There you go, it's completely crunched and it's not something that I wanted at all. That's it guys, we're at the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. If you did, hit the thumbs up button and let me know. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already subscribed. And until next time, stay safe out there everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.